Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, I let you know that Microsoft had started automatically updating PCs to Windows 11 24H2. And that was Windows 11 devices with version 22H2 or 23H2 installed, where the update um, would be automatically now downloaded onto those devices. Now, I'll leave that video linked in the end screen and down below in the description if you'd like more info. And the reason for this is because Microsoft had said that it had reached a new stage in the phased rollout of version 24H2. And now in Microsoft's bid to get as many users over onto Windows 11 before Windows 10's end of support um, in October later this year, Microsoft now is offering Windows 11 version 24H2 to Windows 10 devices. Obviously, if those devices meet the system requirements to be upgraded to Windows 11 and also have no compatibility holds against those devices preventing the upgrade to Windows 11 and um, Windows 11 24H2. Now, if we just head over to the announcement over on Microsoft Docs, Current status as of January 21, 2025, Windows 11 version 24H2, also known as the 2024 update, is now broadly available. We spoke about that last week. So here's the important bit. Starting this week, we are expanding this latest Windows version phased rollout. We are gradually offering this update, so it's on a controlled rollout, also to eligible devices running Windows 10 version 22H2. They also mentioned that if you have an eligible Windows 10 or Windows 11 device, you can check if the update is available by selecting your settings and going over to the Windows Update page, which you can do, as you may well know. If you really want to see if you want to upgrade your device from Windows 10 to Windows 11 24H2, you can head over to Windows Update and you can just check and seek for the update. And if your device is eligible, and there are no compatibility holds against your Windows 10 device, then you will see the Windows 11 24H2 update made available on your Windows Update page. Now, the good news with this is that it's an optional update. So you will it won't be downloaded and installed automatically onto your device. As an example, like the current security intelligence update um, taking place um, as I'm speaking, so it will remain basically as a box, um, as a little dialogue telling you that you can upgrade to 24H2. So it does remain optional. So you have um, obviously the choice to install it or not. But as I have said with Windows 11, um, what I would suggest is that I would wait at least till I would suggest end of March, April, even into May before you think of installing Windows 11 24H2, especially if your Windows 10 device is running smooth and AO and OK, because Windows 11 24H2 has a good couple of known issues and bugs that are still doing the rounds. So um, I would just hold off installing the update. But nonetheless, I just wanted to let you know that if you are interested, Microsoft is now offering Windows 11 version 24H2 to Windows 10 devices that are eligible. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.